friends, welcome to Power to the Flower. I'm Kara, and today I'd like to try something new. Every Friday, I'm gonna post a short video on one of my favorite things about container gardening. So what I'm hoping to highlight uh, is a favorite plant, a favorite pot, some other accoutrement, some soil, something that I love that makes my container gardens a success. And I hope this is really helpful for you in terms of your success with using, designing, and um, planting your containers. So let's get right into it. Today's Friday favorite is the abutilon, and that is this beautiful plant right here that has these gorgeous yellow blooms. So this is one of my favorite plants to use in a container for three reasons. The first reason is because of its evergreen um, element in USDA zones 8, 9, and 10. I garden in a USDA zone 9 here in California and that means that this green leaf is going to stay looking as good as it does today year round, which is great for winter interest. Um, the other reason why I love it so much is because, hello, it's so beautiful. Look at these beautiful paper flowers. I think they look very ornamental, very exotic. Um, I love the way that they hang down, but look at how they bloom and kind of variety pop up. This particular one is called Lucky Lantern Yellow, and it gets to about 30 centimeters high and 30 centimeters wide. Um, so this is about its max size, and that's also why it's great for a container. The third reason why I love this plant so much is because it is so diverse. It's listed as a full sun plant, but actually I have had a lot of luck with it in full shade situations. I have it planted in other areas of my garden that get zero sun and actually quite a bit of dark shade. It doesn't bloom over there, but I use the variegated varieties that have beautiful, colorful leaves, and it's just just a wall of beautiful foliage, which I love. In this situation, this container ha gets only two hours of sun a day. I have a matching container on the other side that gets zero direct sun a day. and both of the abutilons are blooming. So this is the reason why I love it so much because it's actually a great plant for shade, bright shade it will actually bloom for you. And sometimes that's hard to find blooming plants for shade. So my top three reasons for a butylon, evergreen in our area can bloom in bright, full shade situations and is also super beautiful. So I hope this is helpful for you and do make a comment below if you have an abutilon and what your experience with it has been. If you liked my Friday favorite, please comment below. That helps me a lot in terms of things that you might wanna know or hear about as we continue doing Kara's Friday favorites on container gardening. Thanks so much, bye.